EA Sports. It's in the game. Hi, my name's Kate with the Indianapolis Colts. EA Sports, it's in the game. Madden, NFL 2005. should be another great NFL matchup. We could see this rain all day, so the running game will be a key as the Thunder match up against the Turing. We're here for another great game. Welcome to the action. I'm Al Michaels, my partner, John Madden. There's nothing like talking about a little defense. And whenever we see this team and mention the word defense, this guy comes to mind. The way he flies all over the field, making tackles, breaking up passes, I'll tell you, he's a non-stop hustler. And if they're looking to stop the ground game, he's going to have to make some big plays out there. And so we'll switch things over to the offense and talk about what that defense can expect to see in this game. They bring in a tough running back who has the ability to carry the load for all four quarters, and that just might be their game plan. They're a team that likes to use play action, and in order to set that up, we should see him get the ball quite a few times at the beginning of the game. Look at those guys down there. They can't even sit still. Heck, watching from up here almost makes me want to go down there and join in. A much anticipated game ready to begin as we're lined up for the kickoff. The Centurions are lined up for the kickoff. Not a real deep kick. Should be returned. From the 12. The Thunder will start the drive from the 26-yard line. First and 10. Number 25, the lone setback. Looking to run it here. Hunter makes the tackle at the 29-yard line. That run didn't get them much. Yeah, there was a defender in every gap ready to make the tackle on that play. They need seven. Aimed it off to the back. They'll go with a play fake. Rose it. Incomplete pass. That was right on the money, but dropped. Well, there's a lot of parity in the NFL right now, but neither of these teams is playoff caliber, both lacking in talent. And they both have some very good building blocks to work with. And those are the guys that you got to look to in games like this. Davy starts out of the shotgun. And he's brought down in the backfield. Reese came roaring in to nail the quarterback. You got to give a lot of credit to this defensive line. They got a good push in the middle, and he was right there to bring him down. Johnson is the deep return man. Here's the kick. He's waving for the fair catch. Oh, yeah, the yeah, offense yeah. just about ready to call their Every first play of the game. You can't touch. And if you're in the back, you need to step up front. And if you can't hear it, then tell them to turn it up. What the hell are you waiting for? Everybody right. It's first and ten. Coborn, the lone back. Going to the air on first down. Throwing. And this pass is complete. Number 53 is the guy who's there to bring him down at the 39-yard line. And 
five. It'll be second and less than two following that pass for decent yardage. I'll tell you, when you've got second and short, you can call just about anything and everything. Because if you don't get it on this play, you can always go back out there on third, and you still only need a yard or two for the first down. The defense lines up in the nickel. Gets the pass off, and he hits his target. Nice ball going to the air, and that'll move the chain. So they have first and ten here. They'll go from the I formation. Hand off to the tailback. Still running. Misses the tackle. Using the stiff arm. Number 28 with the stop at the 16-yard line. Great run to pick up the first down. Well, this is the type of play where the back gets hit, but he has the strength to keep going, and he picks up even more yardage. And they find themselves in scoring range. Number 86 goes in motion. Crosses it out to the right. Solid hit. Just punched. And the thing is, when you get hit like that, it's like having a bumblebee in your helmet. You just can't get rid of it. So a gain of about one. Right, it's second down and nine to go. Sharp created problems in the backfield on that one. The defensive line wins that battle. Yeah, and he was looking for a place to cut back, but the defenders had all their gaps, and there was no place to cut at all. It's third down. They have to get it to the six to pick up the first down. 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 Berlin comes out in their nickel package. With the pass, the pass was incomplete. The incompletion brings up fourth down. Number 10 comes out, hoping to put points on the scoreboard for the first time. And it's on its way. The try is good. Number nine is back and ready to put this one in the air. Not a bad kick. They'll set up for the return. From the three. Of course, a three and out on the offense's last possession. First and ten. Looking upfield, Jenkins brings him down at the 26-yard line. He might have gotten a yard or two. That guy got knocked around by that defense. He needs a little protection from his lineman. Second and eight coming up here. The Centurions come out in a dime package. Throwing. This one falls incomplete. They've got the coverage he was looking for, but a great defensive effort forces the incomplete pass. Number 25, the deep man, fakes the handoff, and he makes the grab. Hunter makes the stop at the 41-yard line. Watch it here. This is a great call on third down to keep this drive alive. They were in a tough spot here, but this is a heck of a throw and catch to pick up that first down.
with the pass, and the catch is made. We caught the pass, but didn't go anywhere. Yeah, the defense is real good at putting a quick end to completion. It's second down and ten to go. Closing in, gets the pass off. The 50. Newsom records the stop at the 46. Perfect pass, great catch, and that'll move the chains. So they have first and ten here. The Centurions come out in a nickel package. Gets rid of it. Great throw. Ooh, that one will leave a mark. He got hit so hard he darn near had to take a taxi back to the stadium. Davy. It's about a three-yard pickup for him. Seven yards to go. The Centurions come out in a nickel package. With the throw, and it's complete. Newsom stops him at the 27. This offense having no trouble moving the ball on this drive. Yeah, and this defense is having a lot of trouble stopping. They can't seem to key on what they're doing and put an end to this drive. Eighth play of this drive. They're within striking distance here. The quarterback gets set with only one back behind him. Passing on first down. With the pass, he finds his man. Hunter takes him down at the 13. They get another first down here. Well, they're not doing anything fancy, but good old-fashioned drop back and pass, and it's working. Ninth play of this drive. They're inside the 15. So at the end of one, the score is 3-0. Teams as what sides, and we'll start the second quarter. And this is the ninth play of this drive inside enemy territory. Number 25 is in there for the touchdown. Great rushing touchdown there. He just kept his legs churning and moving on that one. Nobody was going to keep him from scoring. The lineup for the extra point. And it's up. The extra point attempt is good. Down the field, they went efficiently and effectively over 70 yards to the end zone. The offense played every down with intensity. That's how you want your team to play the entire game. The Thunder are ready to kick this one off. Short kickoff from the 12. The 30, breaking free, looking for leverage. Just about ready for the first play of this drive. They were able to pick up a field goal on their last drive. It's first and 10. Coborn lines up behind his fullback in the eye. Crosses it out to the right. Number 53 is the guy who's there to bring him down at the 43. The defense did a good job stopping the run on that play. They need to keep using this guy. If he can get into that groove and be able to make the big run in the second half. Second and nine coming up here. Van Dyke sends a man in motion. Off to the fullback, slips the tackle. Number 57 pulls him down at the 47. Sometimes you can be a little over aggressive on defense, like you see here. He had him lined up, but he over pursued. He got caught out of position, and the ball carrier was able to cut back. Yeah. <laughs> 
Hands it off. Fakes the handle. Almost there. Number 56. Had his hands on. He's a pretty good cover linebacker. He can run with most guys, and he gets good position. Then he reads the pass, and he makes his move. He'll drop a few like that one. Good defensive stand there. Now they'll punt it away after a three and out. Here's the punt. Fair catch. First and ten. Up here. He's feeling it right now. Either that or he's numb all over. And that's worse. Couldn't find much of a hole, and he's brought down after a gain of what looks like a couple. Yeah, you talk about push. This line got no push at all, and there was nowhere to go. It's second down and eight to go. On the call. Big pop that time. You want someone there to tell you to watch out because he just got decked. They went back for the run on that play. That just goes to show you that the coach trusts the guy to hang on to the ball. Third and seven coming up here. The quarterback lines up with two backs behind him. Number 25. Great fake. Rowan breaks away from the tackle. Nice read, finding the receiver who is in single coverage. First and ten. Number 85 moves in motion. Hand it off. Powell makes the tackle at the 33. He was fortunate to get anything on that ball. And that's a tribute to their strength and conditioning coach. These guys spend almost as much time in the weight room as they do on the field. And you see it pay off when a guy can turn a play that looks like a sure loss into a play for a couple of yards. They line up in the I formation. Again with the run. Number 29 makes the stop at the 39. They ran it there. Yeah, that's an important part of this team's offense. Defense, defense, defense. About four to go. Come on now. Playbrooks created problems in the backfield on that. He was met right at the line, might have even lost a little. That was a case of the defense getting under the pads of the offensive line. Usually the team that gets the best leverage is going to control the line of scrimmage. When you run it into the middle, you have to have some push or movement up front. If you can't get that movement, it makes things very difficult for your running back. Here's the kick. From the 31-yard line, he picks up a few yards on the return. Two-minute warning coming up. Get in there. Get up, get up. The Centurions line up with two backs behind the quarterback. And set. The 28 is the guy who gets in there for the set. That's just the kind of pressure they like to see generated up front. They got off when the ball was snapped, and the offensive line just couldn't step up fast enough. Right, following the sack, it's second and long. Tucks it away. Gets rid of it. And he dropped it. Incomplete that time, John. Throwing in these types of conditions could be very difficult. A lot of the time, you see the ball slip out of the quarterback's hand a little. And that could lead to incompletions or interceptions. So you got to take a little more time when you drop back to pass. Hey, if the coach has confidence in his quarterback, they'll probably throw for it. 
He looks at the big picture and sees what could go wrong. He may just run it and send out his punt team. They went with the running play. You never know when you're going to find some room and break loose into the secondary. Time for a punt here as it's now fourth down. Nothing happening for the offense. They're forced into a three and out. Here's the punt. And he signals for the fair catch. They'd like to add a few more points to this lead, but we'll need to do a good job with clock management. It's first and ten. The goal from the I formation. Davy with a man in motion. Dropping back to pass on first down. Ooh, nearly picked off. I thought that was about to be picked off, John. One thing remains constant. No matter what kind of quarterback you are, rushing your throws is going to end up in incompletion or worse. I'm sure they'll be going to the air as long as they have the ball. Nickelback in this time. Davy sends a man in motion. Drops back. Pressure coming. Rowing. He hits his receiver. He comes up with the ball despite being blanketed with the double coverage. Hey, this is why you run those two-minute drills in practice for a situation like this. The only difference is this isn't the scout team defense. So they have first and ten here. Going to the air on first down. With the pass, number 29 stops him at the 42-yard line. Not quite far enough to pick up the first down. Yeah, and the guy calling the plays loves this kind of situation. Because on second and short, everything in the playbook is an option. The defense can't afford to take too many gambles. They're going for a pick when they should just try and knock it down. One mistake can lead to a big play for the offense. With the throw, this one falls incomplete. The tight end was right there, but he just couldn't get that pass under control. I don't know what happened there. The quarterback did his job delivering a catchable ball. He just couldn't come up with it. On a third and short situation like this, the defense has to be ready for anything. Crosses it right, number 25. He just gets this one past the sticks. One yard game on the play. One thing they want to avoid is turning it over and setting up the other guys with a chance to get some points. And what they'll look at here is exactly where the ball was when he went down. Yeah, they're thinking the ref is going to give him that left foot spot when they were thinking it should have been a right foot spot. A call on the field Just about down to one minute. The Thunder call a timeout. They have one remaining. Pressure growing at the 30, the 20, number 26 makes the tackle at the 12-yard line. That's three times on this drive they've been able to pick up a first down. Yeah, and the thing is, they'll be doing more than just picking up first downs if this success continues. They're going to be picking up some points. First and 10. Number 25, the deep back. Throws to the end zone. Nearly intercepted. Pass incomplete in the end zone. Second down. I'm sure they'll have one of their receivers running near the sideline. And if they go to him, he's got to look upfield because he might be able to take it in for a score if the defense thinks he's just going to run out of bounds. Davy with a man in motion. Guns it over the middle. Almost intercepted. No one there. And now it's third down. Third and long, looking for a great throw to convert on this one. Ninth play of this drive. The 
Centurions come out in a dime package. Dropping back. Under pressure. Throws it. The pass falls incomplete. Yet another pass that's broken up. Yeah, it's getting a little out of hand here. And it does have an effect on you as a team. It breaks up any rhythm that you've established. Comes into the game to try the field goal. The kick is up. The field goal attempt is good. The Thunder are set to kick it deep. Going with the squib kick. From the nine yard line. To the 20. The defense forced the punt the last time after three plays. One thing as a defender you want to avoid is trying to take a gamble for a turnover and then giving up the big play that lets them get points before the half. Van Dyke with split backs. Throwing. It's going the other way. The 30. The offensive line couldn't do the job, and the pressure forced him to make a bad throw into coverage. I'll tell you, it's very important to have pressure on the quarterback. What that does is make the secondary's job a heck of a lot easier. And on that play, it led to an interception. They come out of the nickel. Going to the air on first down. With the pass, just couldn't get that pass under control. He was unable to bring that one in. That was a pretty good throw, and the receiver was able to get to it. He just couldn't close the deal and bring it in for the catch. They line up in the I formation. Drops back, closing in, gets rid of it. Perfect throw. Number 29 makes the play at the eight yard line. That'll move the change, John. Yeah, when you put together a great pass with a heck of a catch, that's exactly what you're going to get. Berlin calls a timeout. They have none left. They'll try to add three with a field goal before halftime. And the kicking team come on for this field goal attempt. And it's on its way. No doubt about that one. The Thunder are lined up for the kickoff. Squib kick. This kick goes out of bounds. Penalty marker down in the field. Well, they tried the directional kick, but it goes out of bounds. The return team is going to have good position after that one. They didn't even have to worry about running it back. I don't think they can do much more than just throw one long. So I'm sure the defensive coach is telling his guys, don't get beat deep. Rolls right, rowing. Incomplete. It's the end of the second quarter with the score. Berlin, 13. Cologne, 3. We're ready to start the second half of play. So both teams have come back out into the field as we get set for the second half. Good distance. From the 10 to the 20. Cologne needs two scores to get back into this one.
first and ten. The backs are lined up in an eye. Number 89 moves in motion. Hand it off. Number 28 makes the play at the 36-yard line. Picked up nine on the play. Jill, what do you have? Well, Al, the coach praised his defense for their first half play, and he noted that whenever his team is protecting the lead, they seem to play even better. Al? Thanks, Jill. Okay, here we go. The Centurions line up with two backs behind the quarterback. Pressure coming, and he's tackled behind the line. Sharp gets to him in a hurry. And he really overpowered the blocker that time. He's a big, big, strong man. Third and seven coming up here. Berlin comes out in their nickel package. Fullback breaks free. The defender goes down. He breaks free. He's finally brought down at the 40. Credit the line for creating a big game. Great block. Here's what he does. When he goes through the hole, he gets low, and he makes himself small, giving the defense nothing to hit. Then he stretches out and really picks up speed, slashing through the secondary for a big game. John, their first down rushing average is very impressive. Yeah, they're getting some solid blocking inside and outside. Number 57 makes the tackle at the 40-yard line. Cobor couldn't find any room on that one. They really hustle on the defensive side of the ball. They're very good at clogging up the line, limiting the number of holes and cutback lanes that the back has to choose from. Second and ten. Mad dog over. Delta, Delta, switch one. Yeah. Get the ball again. Number 93 with the stop at the 36. Good game for the offense here in the second half. This is one of those guys who seems to play better as the game goes on. The more he gets the ball, the better he does. So I'd expect to see him get quite a few touches here as the game winds down. The Thunder come out in a dime package. Drops back. Going deep, looking for something in the end zone. Catches it. Duvall is in there for the touchdown. out onto the field. The kick is up. And he picks out on the extra point. Centurions are just three points down now. Kickoff team lines up. Nice kick. Plenty of distance. From the 18. Berlin hits back out offensively, leading by three. So they have first and ten here. Number 25 is the deep back. Gets the call. Howard stops him at the 41. Good game there and a first down. If the defense keeps giving up runs like that for first downs, they'll have to make some adjustments to slow this guy down. It's first and 10. He got popped. I'll tell you one thing, he's going to feel that in the morning. Short gain on that burst through the middle, maybe half a yard. I don't think I'd call that run a burst. That was more of a limp up the middle. Seven yards to go. The Centurions come out in a nickel package. Dropping back. 
Gets the pass off. Big hit on the ball count. And when you talk about getting unloaded on, that's what happened here. He just got unloaded on. He hangs on to the high pass. You can go to this guy anytime, even if it's not a perfect throw. He has the uncanny ability to always come up with a catch. Davy sends a man in motion. To carry it, Howell stops him at the 39. And now our viewers can see how successful each team's main running threat has been today. It's second down and nine to go. Rowing. The Thunder have yet to face a third down in this series, and they have three first downs. First and ten. Number 85 goes in motion. Hands it off to the back. And he just got level. Yeah, you know that whole deal about what happens when an unstoppable force meets an immovable object? Well, the unstoppable force won that one. The first down marker just inside the 17. They're inside the 20 and have a three-point lead. He hands it off. Picks up just enough for the first. He pulls straight ahead for the first down. Those big old linemen did a heck of a job of just driving back that line. And when you win that battle, it's tough to stop them when you only need a couple yards. Ball on the 16-yard line. The quarterback is back in the shotgun. Looking for a receiver. Throws to the end zone. Number 87 is in there for the touchdown. The kicking team heads out onto the field. And it's up. The extra point attempt is good. A good looking drive, and they score the touchdown. And the offensive unit should be very pleased with their performance on that one. Yeah, they were able to get some other players involved. Anytime you can accomplish that, you get your whole team excited. The Thunder are ready to kick this one off. Not a bad kick. They'll set up for the return. From the two. To the 20. Defense gave up a touchdown the last time. It's first and ten. Johnson, the man in motion. Go a play. Shark gets right in there and brings him down. It's three tackles so far for him today. They wind up in reverse that time. Good push in the middle of the line. Yeah, it doesn't matter who you are. If the defense gets that much penetration, you're going to go backwards. Second and long coming up here. Only one man in the backfield. Number 86, the motion man. Dropping back. Rowing. Right to him. Number 24 makes the play at the 45-yard line. Good read, finding the single coverage in the secondary. First and 10. Centurions line up with two backs behind the quarterback. They'll pass on first down. Rosen and the catch. 
She's big. Excellent recognition by the receiver, reading the coverage, adjusting his route accordingly. Option routes are receiving routes designed to take advantage of the cover. It's up to both the receiver and the quarterback to make the same read. If the receiver reads zone, but the quarterback reads man, you can see passes going right to the defender. Completed the three quarters of play, and the score is 20 to 10. The teams are set for the fourth quarter of play. It's first and ten. Berlin comes out in a dime package. Gets the pass off. Almost picked off. The quarterback thought he had that one. You got to deliver the ball out there quickly, but it has to be catchable. You got to use some touch. Fifth play of this drive. Dropping back. Gets rid of it. Great pass. Davis pulls him down at the 13-yard line. Centurions have moved the ball well on this drive. That's their third first down. Sixth play of this drive. They're inside the 15. Hands it off. And there's a flag in the play. Appeared to be a hold on that play. Some of these guys wear jerseys two sizes too small. And they tape them to their pads to prevent that kind of thing. And this is the sixth play of this drive. They're within striking distance here. Berlin comes out in their nickel package. With the throw, he finds his man. Hart did a great job coming up with that one. Yeah, if they keep making catches like that, this quarterback is going to get into quite a rhythm. Second and long. Only one man in the backfield. Van Dyke sends a man in motion. Coborn fakes the handoff. Rowing. And he steps out of bounds at the one-yard line. Look here. He does two things perfectly on this play. One, he watches the ball all the way into his hands to make the catch. And two, he shows great awareness and gets both feet down in bounds. Yeah, that's a nice little play. It appeared he did a great job of keeping his balance along the sidelines. Yeah, and the only question is, did he step out? That's what I think they're looking for in the booth. So he takes advantage of the option to challenge the play, and it pays off. You bet. They just went from a bad play to a good one. And that does a lot for the team. Now let's see if they can take advantage of it. So a fly to the end zone. This one falls incomplete. And this is an incredible play by the defender. You know, he didn't look like he would be there in time. But he jumped over the top of everyone, and he got his hand on it to knock it away. The kick is up. The kick is good. The Centurions draw it within a touchdown. Ward, he's back to the kickoff as we take a quick glance at his return numbers. The Centurions are set to kick it deep. Nice kick and returnable. From the six yard line. To the 20. It's on the ground. Centurions scoop it up. Yeah. 
So after the fumble now it's first and ten. Coborn, the lone back. Dropping back to pass on first down. Gets rid of it. Pass falls incomplete. Can't complete that short pass, and it's second down. And Dyke with a man in motion. Pressure with the pass, and it's complete. Ford is the guy who's there to bring him down at the 21. They have to get the ball inside the 20 to convert. So they're inside the 20, they need to get a touchdown. Holborn picks up just enough for the first. He gets just enough for the first down. Talk about barely getting enough for the first. I'm still not sure it was enough. In field goal range now. The Thunder come out in a nickel package. Number 57 makes the stop at the 16-yard line. Not much on that play. Yeah, and that's what happens when you talk about a disciplined defense. They stay at home and wait for the runner to come to them. They'll need to get to the 8 to convert. Drops back. Gets the pass off. This one falls on the complete. Third down after that failed pass attempt. Sixth play of this drive. Nickelback in this time. With the pass, nice adjustment. Davis with the stop at the eight yard line. The Centurions find a way to convert the third and long, their second one on this series. They're eight yards away from finishing this drive with a touchdown. The Centurions come out with four wide receivers lined up tight. Touchdown ball. That was just a great job by the quarterback to get him the ball for the touchdown. He outplayed the defender for the ball on that play. The guy with the best position usually will come up with it. Get set for the extra point. And it's up. The point after is good. John, another tight game that figures to go right down to the wire. Yeah, both of these teams have won some battles today. But the war has yet to be decided. One team will step up and make the play, and that's going to decide the winner. are lined up for the kickoff. Good kick should be returnable. From the nine-yard line to the 20. The Thunder will start the drive from the 24. First and 10. Twenty-five, the lone back with the carry. John, one of your favorite terms right here. I'm going to use it. Boom. Yeah, but that's worse than a boom. That kind of hit could loosen your teeth. Second and two coming up here. They'll go with the run once again. 
Brooks makes the play at the 38-yard line. Number 25 did a nice job breaking away on that carry. Well, it started with some good blocking. And when he got through there, he turned up field, and they weren't in position to tackle him. Two-minute warning coming up. The quarterback lines up with two backs behind him. Dives and brings him down at the 41-yard line. Pulled down after a minimal game. They just manhandled him at the line of scrimmage. I always say that if you win the battle in the trenches, it's going to go a long way towards your winning the game. Two minutes to go. Only one man in the backfield. Drops back. Gets the pass off. And his pass is completed. Hunter records the tackle at the 49-yard line. He's rushing the offense back to the line. He'll pass on first down. Gets rid of it. Incomplete. And the cornerback is able to tip it away from the intended receiver. He got a good sense of knowing where the ball will come down and when to make his move. The defense is very concerned. And they should be. They need to come up big to force a third down. If the defense lets them continue this drive, they could lose this thing on a field goal. They have to be aggressive, force a quarterback to make a quick decision, and hope it's a bad one. Brooks with the stop at the 44. Dropping back with the throw. Incomplete pass. The incomplete pass brings up the fourth down. It looks like it's all about defense now. If they want to see overtime, they'll need to step it up. A deep punt here could pin them. And sometimes that can be your best defense. The punter heads in again for the third time today. Here's the kick. He drops it. The Thunder grab the live ball. In this situation, they really don't need to pass at all. They just need some positive running plays to take time off the clock and set up the field goal to win it. The quarterback gets set with only one back behind him. To carry it, Reese makes the tackle at the 19-yard line. That run won't move them far. The lineman just failed to open up any holes to run through or give them room to work with. They're in a great position to win this thing with a field goal. If I'm the coach, I'm just calling a run up the middle and setting it up for my kicker. Again with the carry. He just unloaded on it. Boom. Now that is what football's all about. Number 25 has shown why he's such a threat on the ground and gets closer to 100 yards rushing. The defense is going to have to make sure they don't let him pick up the first if they want their team to get one last shot. It should be a run, so they better get ready to stop it. Another run. Dives and brings him down. Solid yardage on that run. Yeah, a really good call there because the defense was sure that they were going to go with a pass play. When the ball was handed off, they kind of had to react mid-spring. Nine yards, they'll be in the end zone. Number 25, the lone back. And he'll get the call. Number 25, he's in there for the score. So he gets in again for his second rushing touchdown. They'll line up for the extra point. And it's on its way. And he tacks on the extra point. Oborn gets set to return the kickoff as we take a look at his stats.
The Thunder are ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing. From the 14. The 30. Cologne takes over, trailing by a touchdown. Looks like he's changing the play. Berlin comes out in their nickel package with the pass, and he hits his target. The bow makes the catch but doesn't get very far. And that's what the mark of a solid defense is. They close in on you in a hurry, and they don't miss tackle. Rowing. No completion there. In these conditions, the rain clearly a big factor. The quarterback has to make sure that he has a good grip on the ball before he lets it go. When it's raining like this, it's not unusual to see a few more bad snaps, fumbles, incompletions, and stuff like that out there. The quarterback lines up with two backs behind him. Rolls right. Unleashes the deep ball. It's caught. Great tackle to save the touchdown. Looks like he's calling an audible. Spike stops the clock. And below you can see how these two teams have done in the turnover battle. You got to think they'll be going with something in the air here. Conserving time while moving downfield for the score. It's second down and 10 to go. This team just seems to lose momentum and confidence when they get near the goal line. This pass is incomplete. He's lucky he got that one off, John. The defense brought everyone on the blitz. They just went after the quarterback, but his quick release allowed him to escape a sack. And this is the sixth play of this drive. Berlin comes out in a dime package. Under pressure, throws to the end zone. This one falls incomplete. No choice here, John. They just have to keep throwing. Yeah, they do. Running the ball isn't going to do a whole lot of good now. They're down to what might be their last play, and it's fourth and long. It's going to be up to the offensive line to give the quarterback some extra time and find a guy to get the first down. Split backs this time. Closing in with the pass. Incomplete pass. And they turn it over on downs. Maybe he thought his team could make a play when it really mattered. Now they've given the other team a chance on offense. Now with little time left, a rushing play should be a good call here. The quarterback gets set with only one back behind him. Looking upfield. He can't wrap him up. Brooks stops him at the 20-yard line. Gain of five on the play. It's second down and five to go. Looks like they'll take a knee right here and savor the victory. So at the end of the game, the score is 27-20. This is Al Michaels with John Madden saying goodbye for EA Sports. Number 25 had himself a big game and is our horse trailer player of the game.